Hi, so I hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I'm finding recording this very difficult today, but never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do today is position vectors and unit vectors, and we'll also be looking at the magnitude of a vector. Okay, so first of all, we're going to start with talking about the position vector of a point, um, and that's a vector from the origin here to our given point and we can write it like this OP from the origin to the point um, so if we want to find the position vector of point 2 3 so it has an X coordinate of 2 and a Y coordinate of 3 uh, what we're looking to do is find the vector which is going to go along two units uh, parallel to the x-axis and up three units parallel to the y-axis so you remember that I takes you in the direction of the x-axis by one unit and j takes you in the direction of the y-axis by one unit okay and then you can also write this as a column vector two three uh, which some people find easier okay so we want to find the magnitude of a vector and really we do this just using Pythagoras and when we talk the talk about the magnitude of a vector we're talking about the length of a vector so if I have this vector a b I start at a and I go to b and it's given by 5i plus 2j. That means I've gone 5 units in the direction of the x-axis and 2 units in the direction of the y-axis. And you can see I've just got a nice little right angle triangle. So I can find the length of this line AB, and that's the magnitude, the length of the line AB, just by taking 5 squared plus 2 squared and square rooting it. And we can extend this into um, 3D by just adding k where k is the unit uh, vector in the z direction and so this we then just do 5 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared and take the square root of it so it's exactly the same process and when we put the little lines like this at either side of our vector it means we're looking for the magnitude of that vector the length of the line okay so we also need to know about unit vectors now unit vector is a vector of length one so um, obviously unit vector that seems to make sense now if you want to find a unit vector in a given direction what you do is take the vector take another vector in that direction you find its length and you, you divide it by its length because you only want to go one unit in in that direction and so in this case here's our vector we want to go in this direction uh, we find its length 12 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared and square root it which is 13 that's taking us 13 units in that direction and I don't want to go 13 units I only want to go one unit so what I do is divide by the 13 so I'm just taking a fraction of that vector I don't want the whole thing I just want to go one unit along the line of that vector Okay, so the distance between two points, so if I want to find the distance between A and B, uh, because I've got a point at A and a point at B, I can use A as a position vector from the origin to A and B as a position vector from the origin to B. And I want to get the vector from A to B, but I haven't actually got one here. So what I do, I go back along A, and then up B so I go minus A plus B and that will take me from A to B along the vectors that I have I have this vector A and this vector B so that is B minus A and if you remember when um, in a previous in, uh, video we looked at if we were to take B take away A what you do is take away the components of X from each other the components of Y from each other and the components of J from each other and so if I want to find the distance between A and B I do the same thing I basically want to find the magnitude of the line where I've taken the components of X from each other the components of Y from each other and the components uh, sorry of Z from each other so if you look at this question we've got a point at 7 2 and a point at 2 3 we find that a B is B minus A and I want the magnitude of that line and what I'm really looking for is the magnitude of this line and you see you can do it by this little right angle triangle where we just find the length the difference of um, the X components will give us this length and the difference of the Y components will give us that length so uh, the X components are 2 and 7 so this length here is 5 
and the y components are 3 and 2, so the difference of those is 1. And so I can do 5 squared plus 1 squared is 26, and therefore I take the square root. OK, so I'm just using um, Pythagoras for that. And a lot of this is revision, not the vector notation, obviously, but revision from things that you would have done in C2. OK, I hope that's all right. I hope I don't have to record it again. And I'm now going to say goodbye. Bye.